वेलकम माई नेम इज़ प्रवीण निर्मलन एंड आई थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग अस इन दिस जर्नी टुडे वी विल लुक एट हाउ टू राइट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एन एम डी डी एन बी थीसिस दैट वी हैव टू सबमिट एज पार्ट ऑफ द मैंडेटरी रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट मेडिकल एजुकेशन इन इंडिया The learning objective for this particular session would be how to write a precise and concise introduction to your thesis. The introduction is very important. It is the first part other than the title that the reader often looks at as they start wading into how you have done your research and what your results are and the way you have gone about it and what your interpretations are and what your conclusions are it all starts with the introduction and the introduction has got two main purposes one is to introduce the reader to your research and equally important is to engage the reader such that they continue to read your thesis or your research study with involvement that's very important you want to introduce the re- reader to your research you want to let them know what your re- study is all about but you also have to engage them in such a manner that they want to continue to read further and read with involvement the introduction therefore has to be short and focused long winded introductions vague introductions do not help the cause because they put the person off they will put the reader off and they no longer want to continue further so the introduction has to be very short focused and it should provide or introduce the context for your research that's very important it should provide or introduce a context for your research what's the content of the introduction as i said earlier it provides a context for your research and that and it then leads to your research question so when you say context what do we mean we discuss what is already known about this particular problem that you are looking at we also give a brief introduction about what is not yet known or gaps in existing knowledge and you lead from the gaps or what is not yet known to your research question we look at a few general tips about the structure of the introduction ideally the introduction should be a maximum of 2 pages for an md or dnb dissertation not more than that you really don't need more than that one and a half two pages at the most two and a half pages but even that is not needed two pages maximum the introduction should generally have five to six paragraphs and when we say paragraph each paragraph should have one identifiable central theme so each paragraph has got its own one identifiable central theme and each paragraph leads in a very logical manner to the next paragraph so the themes of each paragraph are arranged in a very logical order each paragraph must be made of 5 to 8 sentences this is not a hard and fast rule but ideally each paragraph it's enough to have just 5 or maximum 8 sentences a central theme two or three sentences that lead to the central theme and two or three sentences that lead from the central theme to the next paragraph or transitioning sentences so you need just about 5 to 8 sentences per paragraph and when we say sentences each sentence should be made up of at the most up to 25 words beyond a long winded sentence beyond with uh, that as more than 20 25 words is very difficult to read and you lose the reader straight away so make your sentences short make your sentences crisp at the most 25 words ideally somewhere between 15 to 20 words 
it should not be too short that you lose the context of what's being what your what your message is it should not be too long that you lose the reader very very important each word should be easy to understand and preferably use words that are commonly used rather than words that make the reader have to go and search for a dictionary to find out what you are trying to say so don't use slang don't use colloquial language don't use twitter language don't use social media language don't use hashtags use words that are commonly used easy to understand and that's very 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 important and the most important thing be factual your thesis is about a research study it's about facts build the tone at the introduction stage itself be very factual we could leave the literary verbose language for other literary pursuits but for the thesis let's keep it short focused crisp factual on the structure of the content ideally what we recommend is that we have two or three paragraphs that describe what is known and this could be split into global regional local information or it could be about the global information or regional information it depends upon your research question what how you structure it but ideally what is known can comprise you need just two or three paragraphs for that keep two or three paragraphs to describe what is not yet known or what are the gaps in the current knowledge you not doing a complete review or a complete discussion in the introduction you're just giving very brief pertinent points so what is not yet known an information on what is known and what is not yet known preferably should be recent and relevant to your research question and where you lead from there is to the third the last paragraph which may be the fifth or sixth paragraph which is what is my study all about this has to be connected or aligned with your preceding paragraphs on what is known and what are the gaps and it's in this paragraph the paragraph the last paragraph where you describe what your study is all about it's there that you actually sell your thesis your research idea sell your thesis to the reader that this is what i am i have done this is what you can expect to see and this is why it's important and this is why it will be interesting for you to read further so you have to really sell your thesis in the last paragraph there are several pragmatic realities to keep in mind as you write the introduction one template makes writing easier so if you say that we split it into six paragraphs and two paragraphs are for this and two paragraphs for this and one paragraph for this five paragraphs or six paragraphs it's a template that makes the writing easier it makes it easier for you as a writer to structure the content however what you need to really consider is that templates make reading boring and predictable as well so for the reader who is reading quite a number of dissertations through their career it makes the whole process become boring and very predictable and when the process becomes boring and predictable you tend to lose the reader which is not something that you want with your thesis you have invested your time hopefully you have invested your effort again hopefully into doing the thesis and writing it all up besides the necessity of having the thesis cleared or what you say passed so that you get your or to meet the mandatory requirements of obtaining a certification you also want the time and effort that you have invested in to be valued and you don't want the reader to just skim through it and read it without any involvement or any interest 
so boring and predictable you have to be careful of that when you are using a template how do you do that you have to make sure that even while you are using the template that your introduction reflects yourself you are narrating a story you are telling a story you are telling how you have done your research story and you have to bring your flavor your creativity your flavor within the template that you use keeping in mind that we are still using sentences that are crisp focused factual so you have to bring in that flavor you have to bring the essence of yourself your story and your narration into the template so adapt the template blend the template and add a liberal dash of your flavor to engage the reader the introduction is a very short segment but it is the first segment that is often read in a dissertation and it is the segment that can set the tone for how the reader or the examiner goes about reading the rest of your dissertation and if you catch their interest there and if you give the reader the examiner the feeling that well this is something that i want to read this looks interesting half your work is done but if you lose the reader there if the examiner feels blah one more of the same kind of stuff in all the effort that you have put in may go for a toss may not but most probably may you want the reader involved you want the reader to engage with what you have done and the introduction sets the base or the foundation for that so the introduction is a very very important part of your thesis and it's something that you have to really work upon that is where you catch the attention of the examiner or the reader feel free to reach out to us if you want an i multiple sets of eyes to look over how you are going about the introduction or if you have further clarifications you need further clarifications or if you have any doubts about how to go about it you are given the general structure of the introduction you are not gone into very specific examples because it depends upon your research question and besides as we said we want that the template reflects your creativity and hence we are trying to minimize the bias potential bias by introducing specific examples that then direct your creative process towards uh, let us try writing like this or let us try writing like that so we have given the framework of the template for the introduction and now go ahead feel free to fill it in and more importantly feel free to reach out to us through email if you would like us to look over that and provide you personalized feedback this is a very short segment on a very important subject and we are keeping it very short so that you can reflect revisit and engage yourself with writing a good introduction thanking you so much for being with us we hope you will continue traveling with us we got several travel guides who are willing to and quite eager to guide you along the whole way